What's up everybody? So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a very special Tayatoshi, one I used a lot in competitions and I feel like I had a lot of success with. It may not be my bread and butter throw, but hopefully it's something you guys can add to your game. Let's get into this video. What's up everybody? So today we're gonna to be going over tile, but we're gonna be doing a little bit different version. Okay, this is gonna be a right on right. You can also do it left on right. We're not gonna go over it today because that gets a little complicated. But I'm gonna give you guys the gist of it right on right. This was something I did a lot when I was competing and it's when the right-handed person makes the mistake of putting their right hand on the gi first, okay? Or they make the mistake of leaving the right hand on the gi after losing the sleeve. So sometimes you can come out and steal your sleeve and you can get out grip, they can post and you can be stuck here. You're gonna take a grip on the end of the sleeve, okay? And then basically what happens a lot of the times is he knows he's not supposed to just hang out here with this hand on the gi. But what happens is, is as you break this grip off, he could be searching for it and you can defend it. And this situation is when I have that ability to throw my partner with tile, okay? And it's a one-handed tile. I don't know why it's called one hand. We used to, but it just means that it's not in a traditional place. So what's gonna happen is, while we're in this position, go ahead and stand square for me to start. There you go. When we're in, nope, relax, relax. When we're in this position, all we're gonna do is practice pulling with our body, okay? Not, because there's not much here. Basically what you wanna practice is your sleeve hand pulls his hand to your chest and keeps it there. Your body and your legs do the rest of the work so that when I push, my hand comes across and I back step. I lower my level and we come around for the tile, okay? And it's done from the sleeve grip. Now. When you're in this position and your partner, you're looking for that sleeve hand and you're playing that defense, look at, I'm pulling with my front leg. Pulling, and then I continue my pull. Pull, hold him to you, back step. That way your hand can keep him in that off balance position, right? So from this angle here, when I'm in this position, pull, pull, back step. Pull, back step all the way around with a nice, clean, one-handed tile. Now, there's a few different ways you can apply it. You can come out and you can steal the sleeve, turn the corner, he faces you, open him back up, finish the throw, right? So from this angle, basically you would take the sleeve, you would jam it across the body so that he has to face you, open him back up, fit into the throw. Jam it across, he turns the face, open him up, finish the throw, okay? The other one is he posts, you get him to follow, turn, and attack to throw, okay? So there's a few different angles that you guys can play with. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. You guys have it. I hope you guys found that valuable, and I, hopefully you guys can add this to your game. Even if it doesn't become your bread and butter throw, Hopefully you guys see some value in being able to sprinkle this into your Randori sessions in the near future. If you guys found any value in this video, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below, share it to social media, do whatever you're gonna do. And if you're looking to improve your judo and continue learning, check out this next video.